This podcast is a part of the Royal Wee Network. Spit on me. This podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash royalweecast. They have over 180,000 different titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. A book that we recommend is Born Standing Up by Mr. Steve Martin. Yep. 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 <laughs> Science, stamp it. <laughs> Poop. Why did we start fucking around on the couch? You lost your phone. Couldn't find it somehow. How does a couch get as dirty? Because it's just a little container and everybody puts their ass on it and shit falls out of them. And well, these couches, you know, these couches came with the apartment. We didn't, yeah. we didn't buy these couches. Right. Yeah. So they've so been here for who knows how long. Years. We started digging around in these couches for you guys at home. We started digging around in these couches and <laughs> there had to have been a dog. There had to have been a dog at some tenant prior to us. Shocking the amount of hair that was in this one couch. <laughs> I put my hand in there and my brain, I thought, is that hair? Like, why is it so furry down in here? Like, that's an odd place to make a couch furry. And then I was like, oh no, that but can't it, be, <laughs> that can't be all hair. But, but all the hair was human-like. It was very human-like. It was like someone gave someone a haircut on this couch. It was like when a dog sheds, usually it's like, it turns into this like furry kind of mass of stuff. This was just a fistful of individual gray hairs that were all the same length. It's yeah. like they gave like an old man a haircut on this couch <laughs> and just let it go. <laughs> well, why? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. It's a strange topsy-turvy world over here, man. You don't know what ups down. You don't know what's the norm. I just be like, this is the couch where we shave grandma. This is grandma's shaving couch. <laughs> it's where we cut her. Wait, we don't cut her. <laughs> this is where we cut her. This is where we cut grandma. You know the word for for cut? There's, in, in English, you can use cut pretty ubiquitously anytime you want to cut something, no matter uh-huh. what you're cutting with, what tool. Uh-huh. But in, in Chinese, one blade... And two blade, like scissors, is a different cut than cutting with a knife. Gotcha. So I tried to say like I want a haircut, but I used the mm-hmm. wrong cut, and everyone looked at me like I was dumb. Yeah. And I was like, well, okay, I am dumb. I don't know how to speak Chinese, but yeah, I mean, you should get it. <laughs> <laughs> Had some indigestion going on there. Well, that spicy sauce. Yeah. Super hot. Five chilies. Yeah. We found two hundred and. Thirty-eight dollars inside the couch. Yeah, in the couch, Matt, and in, in the hair. There's all kinds. Of, I don't know if you guys get. I don't know if the microphones are picking this up, but there's all kinds of great sounds all around our yeah. apartment, squealing, and we're pretty sure our, our apartment is invested by a predator. Yeah, heard <laughs> perfect predator noises the other day. We had the, the door to the balcony open, so at least like clicks. And then you said, you even said that sounds like a predator. And then we heard whoom. <laughs> A big like <laughs> noise. That was, and we both looked at each other like, "What the fuck?" That was an even more predator noise. It's like there's an the actual predator out there. He's like, "Oh shit, I'm out." Well, I would take predator over rats. Yeah, because we're in no way a threat. So like, or a sport of any kind. That's it's what like, you were saying. Yeah, yeah. They like, would no reason he would kill us. It would not be very sporting yeah. to kill two fat guys. Like, knocking on like this is the place he would come to like clean his knives and stuff after he went and killed somebody worthy. Is that why that bathroom smells so weird? Probably. <laughs> It smells weird. Now, like, it leaks and it's weird. It, I think because it sucks down big mouthfuls of air when you flush it. It's <laughs> like, it's weird. Well, you know, in some places here, that they, you know, like you, in a in a normal plumbing, listen, mm-hmm. I don't know that there's anyone in our, who listens to our podcast who was a plumber, but there, if, if anything what? I say is wrong, hey, write us an email. Yeah. Royalwecast at gmail.com. We want to hear more from you. Yeah, I remember last episode we were like everything emails. Yeah, but emails. If I'm got, if I've got if I don't have my plumbing right, tell us. Lay us some plumb down. All right. But there's a U bend in a pipe, and it like traps a little bit of water so that gas can't get back up to the pipe. Yeah. Well, here they're like, fuck that. Just make the That's, pipe straight. It was make it straight. It's too expensive to make that U bend. Yeah. U pipe. So you'll get like just straight up ass gas right back up in the house. <laughs> yeah. It's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's not so much in this bathroom. No, I don't smell anything in there, but I think that's the deal out there. But also, remember at Mike and Daffy's place, they had a nice house, and you get ass gas. Yeah, it's a big burp ass gas come right back up the drain on you. And you, they used to put a, and this is like the dumbest fix. Like they just had a, would come out of the drain or flies or something. Well, they had a steel bowl upside down on top of all the drains. Uh huh. I was like, well, that makes it even worse. You'd think a cork would suffice, but a steel bowl. Then when you lift that bowl up, you've got a bowl full of ass gas ready to float. Well, out. sure, but if you put a Cork, you think it would fire out of it's there? A, it's a shower drain. You're not going to put little corks in the Oh, bowl. okay. No, you're okay. I thought you just meant the one big drain. Yeah, we'll just take that out and take the little drain out and stick you a big ass cork in it. But then when it builds up in the middle of the night, you're... 
<laughs> Shit, ass cork blue. Well, where does it go otherwise? I mean, where does it go when you have you, Ben? Where does the gas go? Where does the gas go? <laughs> that was a reference that I bet no one's going to get. <laughs> there used to be this show fucking forever ago called Unsolved Mysteries. You remember that? Yeah, okay. Okay. In like the That's early 90s. You're referencing? Yeah. Yeah. The I'm guy on the show, show, he'd yeah. be like, where did he go? He was last seen on a train in Minnesota. Anywho, <laughs> that's also my Ted Koppel. <laughs> 16 tons of sloppy Joe sauce were stolen from a site in Seattle Saturday. Sources say there's still no suspects. <laughs> Good thing you're far enough away we don't need a pop filter. Yeah. There's a thing here Yeah. where when you take a burrow, mm-hmm. or a number two, or a BM, mm-hmm. or a, a poop scoot. Poop scoot. I'm just trying to think of folks who <laughs> wasted to take a shit. Yeah. Give me more. That about covers it. Uh, dropping Browns off at the Super Bowl. I never enjoyed that one. No. Dropping the kids off at the pool. Nah, I never liked that either. Uh, I don't like when shit is made cute, which is all over the fucking place here. Yeah. Like, shit is kind of a cute We went thing. to a whole shit restaurant. We Well, we've gone to many shit restaurants, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was I going to say? What was I going to say? Shit, Here's shit, a shit, pound shit. of goose flesh. <laughs> Oh. She tried to give us three goose heads. Hell yeah, hell I tried to buy. I, I saw a sign that said one for fifty, uh, three for a hundred, and there was you, all this hanging meat. And we're like, yeah, this looks great. Three yeah. for a hundred. Yeah. I'm like, that, I mean, that sounds like a good deal. Yeah, right? we're like, well, we didn't know what we were getting for three. For no, because I can't read Chinese. I mean, I can speak Chinese okay. Mm. Not even. Yeah, like well, take okay, I can speak cut that Chinese. in half. Yeah, but it, it gets us around. It well, yeah, yeah. But all it all just devolves into this, this. Yeah, pointing. <laughs> But I went and I walked up and I said, well, yeah, Sangha, well, I want three. I want the three for a hundred, you know? Mm-hmm. And she's like, you don't need, well, yeah, you don't, you don't want that. And I was like, I do want that three for a hundred. She got real confused. Like, you don't want that. I was like, I want that. I really do want that. Trust me, white boy. And I kept, you don't want it. And I kept looking back at Nate and Nate, I mean, we were just, it was the middle of the night we wandering around. I was just standing in the street laughing because I knew, even though I know no Chinese at all, I'll watch you go up and start a conversation and there's some reactions that you don't need any language for. Like, you'll say something and just a look on their face like, no, you don't want that. Like, so it's kind of, I got that gist of kind of like <laughs> something funny is going down and I was just standing in the street laughing that you're like trying to... Yeah. But I was confused and I didn't know. So I pointed to the sign and she's like, okay. And she came out with three goose heads. Just the heads. And she's like, you want this? You, want, like, th- you want three of these? Like, no, I don't. No. I don't. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> she, she had that look like, I knew it. I told you you didn't want it. You were like, I want the three. No, you don't. Yeah, the three. Well, then she gave us these three. A whole half a goose. A half of a just goose. Just pile on this plate. Cold. It was cold. Yeah. They do that a lot. It seems you get a lot of cold goose and chicken. It was cooked. Yeah. But it was just cold. Yeah. And like a, had a skin about it. What were we talking about? Hold on. Oh, this no. is what the goal of the. It had an inch of skin on it. Got real tired of messing with that. It was tasty, but I forgot. But they take the whole thing and they. Because I've eaten the carcass of an animal. <laughs> that was a strange way to put that. <laughs> I was lost in the wilderness one. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I found like some elk. chickens or something. Yeah, yeah. Or like, you know, you get a leg of chicken. In mm-hmm. America, you just grab it by the bones, you eat it. Mm-hmm. Well, here they take a big cleaver and they chop it into segments. Chop it all up. Which, now I don't know how to navigate it. Right. I don't know where I am. I don't, my maps are all screwed up. Right, exactly. So Jesus said you spend your, your whole early part of your life like figuring out how to navigate like a chicken carcass. <laughs> You know, like, you just pick, you know, like, whenever I look at a whole chicken. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Like, I look at, like, the, the, the thigh attached to the leg. Like, we got today. I don't even see carcass now. I see woman in red dress. I see. <laughs> but, yeah, you see that the chicken. What? <laughs> Deleted from the scene. But, yeah, if, like, today I was looking at that and I thought, okay, yeah, that'll be easy to get around because it was just. The thigh with the leg attached to it. And I'm like, yeah, that's what we want. Then they take it and chop the fuck out of it. And it's like, damn it. I knew how I to get around them. that. I can tell them I don't want that. Yeah. But you, I mean, it's, it's not a, it's not that big of a thing. It does make it easier to use chopsticks. Right. True. But if we're going to bring it home and eat it like monkeys, like. Use my hand. I'm going to shit. Yeah. I usually eat all the bones anyway. Yeah. A lot of times I find myself just picking that stuff up and eating it because I can't, can't navigate it. But there's a thing here when you take a shit. Where, oh, yeah. <laughs> where you, 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 you take your burrow wipes and you put them in a trash can next to the toilet. You don't flush them. In a can, yeah. Certain, yeah. Now, I'm not sure if that's because there's no septic technology or or the... the I don't know the situation. I just don't know. Because the Taipei is a pretty modern city. Yeah, well, you can't do that in that bathroom. That we, we're in Taipei 101. Taipei 101! One of the most technologically advanced. It withstands tsunamis and earthquakes. The fifth tallest building in the world 
If you take a shit in that building, you cannot flush the toilet paper. Yeah. A hurricane can come, a fucking tsunami can come, and an earthquake can come, and that building will stand. But God forbid you shit and flush it. <laughs> because something... It's coming down. It's all coming down. It's all over the news. Apparently someone flushed burl wipes, Taipei 101, it's all coming down. I mean, I don't I, get it. The it's got to be something to do with the, the pipes under the under the infrastructure. In the infrastructure, yeah, it has to be that old pipes. It or has something. to be that. It's place place. Once you get used to it, though, I mean, once you get like after a day, it's not even a thing anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's also one of the reasons they're not really a big. There's not a big push to like solve that issue, or tackle that issue. Yeah, I also imagine it probably saves them some sort of hassle. I mean, I don't know what the men involved in the sanitation department do. I've seen it was Dave Attell. Remember that show? Mm-hmm. Well, Mid- after midnight or whatever what were yeah. they called I don't no know. what were they do after hours you know David Telly would walk around it was like super late that was the best show mm. but he went to a sanitation department and then they just like there was so much toilet paper and condoms and all kinds of crazy shit that they would just wash yeah. up yeah <laughs> nobody wants that job but the thing is they've got to have some level of that here anyway because half the places you can flush it yeah but I guess it's not doubled up uh, uh. It, it might as well be magic man when I flush that and it goes away, well, there's somebody on the other end of that magic, and it's not magic to them. <laughs> because somewhere every time you flush something, that bullshit's popping out somewhere and somebody else has to deal with it, which is really funny. Well, for sure. <laughs> it's not funny at all. It's not funny, but they can't assign faces to bullshit, so it's... Yeah. Bullshit. Human but, shit. Human shit. Just think about the, the sheer infrastructure needed. To run us anything. This yeah. is a human hive. We live in a human hive, man. <laughs> Just think about like all the asphalt, cement, mm-hmm. pipage. This pipage for days. Pipage, Polly Shore. <laughs> this pipe. He says pipage. He says anything. Age. 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 I guess I didn't you know, know that. Pipage. Oh shit! The predator's back. <laughs> yeah, not, maybe it was just Polly Shore out there. That's, that's worse. It's <laughs> even worse. I'd rather have three predators than one Polly Shore. <laughs> Any day. Yeah, well, we would be sport for a Polly Shore. Yeah, but the, I'm gonna put your head on a pike edge. Okay, move away from the Polly Shore. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen. I mean, I, there's the movie he's in with the Earth Dome Biodome. Biodome. That's the only one I can even think that he's even in. Uh, he was in something where he went to court. I mean, I don't know. I hope he's I hope he's not alive anymore. I've not heard from him in a long time. Personally, he used to call me. What does... what? I don't know. He was in Biodome. What does he even do now? I mean, I don't, I don't know he's still alive. I have no idea. A drug addict, maybe? Could that be a job? <laughs> it's not a job. I, I saw him in like a, a little YouTube... I don't know if it was a YouTube video, but it was like... It was like snapshots of life. It started like when a baby was born, and it's like uh-huh. little like snapshots. Like you're like eating Cheerios at a, at a high chair, right? And then there's like a balloon that gets away from you. Mm-hmm. And like halfway through the video, there's like a guy, the main the the kid or the character is walking down the street. Mm-hmm. He's like a grown man, and Polly Shore is there. Mm-hmm. But he's like a, he's, he's a stranger. He's just involved in the filming of this. That it's not fucked up. <laughs> yeah, all lies. It just led him to to uh, Polly Shore. Shore. Yep. All lines lead to Polly Shore. But you know how on YouTube you get like you watch something and there's like the videos on the side, mm-hmm. and almost like I think there must be something that YouTube does that makes it like this is related to this. Yeah, or stuff it takes stuff you've watched before too and it'll throw stuff over there. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Well, I remember I saw one where this guy was trying to say that it is. I want to test this. Mm-hmm. Apparently, if you put a egg in your butt crack, <laughs> you don't possess the strength to crack it. Which way? Put it which way? I think you just put it in there. I think there's no way you can put an egg in, a, in an ass crack and you can crack it. Because I, I've heard that you, you can't if you hold an egg vertically between your thumb. So and, like up, up. Yeah, like well, like oh, the oval is going like it. Like if you were to set an egg up with its big ass on the bottom and then its little head on the top. Yeah, yeah. That way. <laughs> and then try to squeeze them. And no, not squeeze it all the way around, but put your thumb on the bottom of it and put your two fingers on the top. Try to squeeze straight down. You can't break it. If you turn it the other way, you can just mash it. But that way. But how would you? You can't stick it between your ass cheeks like that long way. Why not? I guess you could, but you I mean, have to spread them open. It'd probably be a two man job, and nobody wants on that. We're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, man. Spread my ass cheeks apart. Put an egg in there. Put an egg in there. Just what? do it. My girlfriend comes home. Is like what? <laughs> it's for science. It's for science. It's for the podcast. <laughs> And for science. <laughs> and we're having omelets. I feel like that's something that someone tells tells someone. To get them to put an egg in their to ass. To get them to put an egg in their ass. Yeah. Because regardless of whether you crack the egg or not, you've wasted an egg. Well, you could wash it. You can eat an egg that's been in my ass? 
if you washed it and cracked it, it's just a shell. Sure, sure. But this goes back to the conversation we had about <laughs> cooking a meal naked. All right. Or no, what was it? It was rubbing hams on someone's face or something. <laughs> so I don't talk about that. I don't know. No idea. Oh, it was that guy that meatball that midget the ham slam. Oh yeah. Or no. The, ass, the, no uh, the, the, the the stink nugget. What the no. hell was it called? <laughs> Stink that slam? was the other midget wrestler was Stink Nugget. <laughs> Ass ham Stink Nugget. And- I don't remember. I don't remember. We were talking about the idea that, like, if you rubbed ham on someone's face and then cooked it up, mm-hmm. you would be fine with that. Mm-hmm. Right? So you're saying if I put a egg in my ass. I would rather not know what happened. But if you knew what happened and I washed it. If I was really hungry and, 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 you, and you said, okay, this egg was in my ass. Okay, no, no. Here's what. Are you comfortable with this? I do that. I put the egg in my ass. Uh-huh. That's not in my ass. Right, not, it's just between your butt between cheeks. Between my cheeks. Close enough. All right, sneaking it between the cheeks. All right, I am unable to crack it. Mm-hmm. I take it out of my ass. Mm-hmm. I wash it thoroughly. Mm-hmm. And then I put it back in the fridge with the other eggs, and you don't know which one is which. Mm. I'm not going to lie, I'd probably smell every egg. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> sure. And if it, one would smell like soap, and then I'd know that would be it. But they normally smell like chicken butt. They came out of a chicken butt. Yeah, but don't they do something? They don't fall straight out and into the... Well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's true. It came out of a chicken's ass. What's the difference in coming out of somebody else's ass? I mean, I guess there's a little bit of a difference. There's a difference. And if you wash it. And it's just the outside. It's I'm not going to absorb anything. I'm going to tell you, man, if I do it, I'm throwing the egg away. That's for the best. I'm I'm not against that. I'm not, I won't get on to you for wasting an egg. I wouldn't be like, man, that was a perfectly good egg, and now we can't eat it. Well, I don't like, think I don't think it comes down to that I threw it away as the wasting of the egg. I think coming down to is I put it in my ass for some reason. I saw a YouTube video. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> yeah, okay, what's our whole egg in the trash? You don't ever want to know. <laughs> <laughs> One thing would have questions. <laughs> like, why was it in your ass? <laughs> we have all we watched a video, and I'm, I'm influenced easily. Apparently, in my app, I don't have the strength. I feel like there's someone out there who does have the strength, okay. or it's just because that's structurally the way it's, yeah, the way it's egged. It's like it's. But it seems like if that if you did have the strength to bust it, that shell's going to hurt your ass immediately. I mean, you don't think your ass is a delicate tissue down there, and you ah, blam, you just blast an ass in it, blast an egg in it, blast an ass into that egg. Yeah, egg into that ass. It would blast an egg into your ass. You said talking about sensitive issue. You know, it's the same. It's the same tissue it is it's in your mouth. Yeah, it is. We were talking about that earlier. I don't know yeah. why. Oh, oh, because we've been eating this fucking spicy ass, hot as hell, super hot. <laughs> five peppers hot. Yeah, it's got five peppers on it. Well, there's a big aisle. There's like a big aisle of sauces in our grocery store here, but all, we can't read. We can't read any of them. So we're just trying different well, sauces. Well, if we had applied. Some scrutiny to this one. Well, yeah, it does it, say super hot English. In, in English, right on the front of the bottle. And there's five peppers. Yeah. But we didn't realize that we got home because we found one that was just like luck of the draw. The first one we bought was fucking delicious. So good. It was like the right amount of heat and delicious flavor. And we're like, yeah, we went through like two bottles of it in record time. So we went back and was like, yeah, we'll get another bottle of it. But let's try let's try a, a different one too because there's so many. And I just grabbed the one next to it. Like, let's get this. Let's go down the road. <laughs> It's so good. It's good, but it is fucking hot. It's so spicy. Yeah, if you're talking about that, then we've been taking, like, we'll eat it in the evening. Then, like, the next morning we take these big spicy burls. And I was like, why? I never understood that. Like, why? Actually, if I, I've got it. We've had some theories. But it does make sense to me that your ass needs to be the same material that your mouth is. You want to have a sensitivity down there. You want to have a certain sensitivity. Yeah, because I get it. Because I guess... If you ate that in the wild, the reason those are spicy is in a way to tell your body, hey, you probably shouldn't eat these. They're not, not, they're not poisonous, but stuff like that, it, it, it tells your body. I think it's to tell the, I think that's the plant trying to say, don't eat me. Right. Is there really not anything? That's to- true. So then if you ate it, and it, but is that your ass trying to remind, it's, it's reminding you. Basically, all it's doing is remember, it's like, it's like two fucking buddies, you know? If your, <laughs> your mouth <laughs> eats something, that's like, woo, that's, that's a, that's a heat. But then, like, the next day, your ass gets, it's like, woo, yeah, you weren't lying. Hey, remember that taste up there? Remember that heat? That's how the body works, right? <laughs> but none of that. That's not why That's not why it's sensitive down there. Well, why is it? That's a whole thing. Think about, you need to be sensitive down there. If you get, like, all kinds of cuts and bruises up down there. Oh, that's, yeah, you need some sensitivity, but all right. It's a whole, it's like a waste facility, man. You need to make yeah. sure that shit is in top shape. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. You get a one little, you get a little... You get an egg sliver goes in your ass. Yeah, you bust an eggs in your ass. You bust, gotta, you're done. Infected, dead. 
Yeah. But I still don't need to know that I ate something spicy yesterday. I know that. My ass doesn't need to remind me. No, I guess... Well, the thing is, if you put... But if you put something spicy on your arm, mm-hmm. it's still going to sting. It's going to tingle, isn't it? Yeah. Super hot. Those Maruga scorpion peppers I got, they burned my hands through gloves. I must not have had decent gloves. It was just like, where did you get those? The guy I worked with had somebody... Made them. We got all these crazy hot peppers. I used one of them and made all these jars of hot sauce from it, different kinds, from one or maybe two of those peppers, and it was ridiculously hot. It's called Maruga. A Maruga. A Maruga Scorpion. It was like a blend. The second hottest in the world now. I think the Carolina Reaper is the hottest. This is like a Maruga Scorpion or something. Crazy looking thing. I mean, just looking at it, it's it, it, everything about it's telling you not to eat it. Like it's gnarly as hell looking. It's all like. Turning it on itself and bumpy. Looks like the Satan's, Satan's nut sack. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Maybe a, a Satan's testicle. <laughs> I pretended like we high fived. Yeah, it was odd. They don't know. I guess they wouldn't have known. No. We'll we'll do it again. Real. We'll high five again. All right. Yeah, that one's real. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. I think maybe. I don't know if this microphone does left and right channels. I guess it does, because I'm on one speak, one microphone closer to that one, and you're closer to the other microphone. Uh huh. So shit, man. I wonder if we're on either side of someone's head. Hmm. I don't know. We we tested it. Did you not? The motives come up on one side. I wasn't paying attention to that. I wasn't paying attention that close. (laughs) That's noise came out of the headphones. Well, I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna come in on the other side too. Yeah, we're in the same room, but we're not recording in stereo. We're not. I don't know. (laughs) Clearly, clearly. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I like to try to, to, to just smoothly transition into things. Mm-hmm. But there's sometimes I just don't know. I don't know what, I don't remember what it was. But it's when it just says paying for a hand job. I don't know if either of us have a story we Oh, I'll just say I don't see the point in paying for one. That's, I've always said that. I would never pay for a hand job. I, no. play, I wouldn't pay for something I can do myself, even though it's another person. I know it's another person, and that's the thing. But I wouldn't. But they pay, could do like. But I wouldn't pay for it. I'd pay for a blow job. <laughs> But I wouldn't, because I can't do that to myself. And if I ever got to a point where I could suck my own dick, I would quit paying for it. That's the reason we pay for anything. We don't, I don't, I don't, I pay people for potatoes because I don't know how to make a potato. I grow a potato. If I grew my own potatoes, why would I pay people to But I know how to make french French fries. Huh? I know how to make, huh? (laughs) (laughs) I know how to make french fries. Yeah, okay, I do too. But we still go pay people for french fries. But it's, it's a whole, it's a whole big hassle. It's a whole big hassle to jerk yourself off. Huh. It's a little bit better when someone else does it. Yeah, it'll be better. Yeah, of course, because it's least, yeah, I get you, but I wouldn't pay for it. Someone's like, I don't even know, I don't know, I've never paid for a hand job, so I don't know what they go for. What do you think? What, 30 bucks? Th- no, less than 30 less bucks. Less than 30 bucks? All right, 10 bucks? Are we talking NT? <laughs> <laughs> we made a Taiwan uh, currency joke. Yeah. For those of you at home, one US dollar <laughs> is worth 30 NT. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, maybe thirty bucks is. Pro- I mean, no, thirty. But that's that's a lot. That would be a lot. I don't. I, would I think never it is pay. a lot. I think that's what a blowjob would cost is thirty bucks. Fifty bucks. Well, where does someone cost? 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 I don't know. It just seems like a whole thing. Like it is a whole thing. Hmm. I wouldn't know. Where do you find that? I'm sure the internet. I'm sure we could just look it up and just be like, "What's the what's the going price for a blowjob in such and such a city?" I'll look it up. I'll type it in. Yeah. What do I type in for that? I would just say, how much how would you much how much would you pay a, a hooker blow, for a blowjob? Let's job? say Vegas. Vegas. That okay. place is full of blowjobs. Blowjob. So Capital of the world. How much do you, here we go? How much do hookers in in uh, Vegas cost? Here we go. Does it give a breakdown? Is there like a menu? No, there's not a menu. It's a whole fucking. Hold on, let's see. Well, it's three hundred bucks to sleep with them. I think. That's All what right. I'm seeing here. No, I want I want a fucking chart. I want an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, I want to, I want to track my expenses. <laughs> Uh, apparently twenty bucks. Twenty bucks for a blowjob? Yeah, that's not bad. Why have I been getting blowjobs? I blow. I blow. Why have I been getting blowjobs? <laughs> why have I get? Why is that? What was the question? Why have I been giving them out? <laughs> no, I've been giving them away for free. No, not why have I been giving them? That's that's a quick twenty five. No, I've been thinking like twenty. But I waste twenty dollars on stupid shit all the time. If I knew they only cost twenty dollars, I'd be like, yeah, I could. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Because it's a whole thing of yeah. See, that's the whole thing. It's a, you got to go find one. <laughs> find a blowjob. I'm finding a not very. I mean, it's very difficult to find a uh, reliable source here on the internet. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm seeing anywhere from like eighty bucks. I'm seeing. I saw as low as twenty, and I'm seeing like 
Three hundred. But I'm gonna pay three hundred dollars for a blowjob. <laughs> There's no way. No way. No way. Hundred bucks. Mm, depends on what she's got. A nah. She's. I mean. But if you got to think. Oh, I found a sex menu. Here we go. Most of the, most of the, if they're a na- if it's like a, like a hot Vegas hooker, that's one thing. But if it's like, you know what I mean? You see some of the urchins crawling around on the corner. You know what I mean? Like you wouldn't, I wouldn't pay. That's what I don't get. Like, why would you ever want that anywhere near your genitals? No. That, that human of a thing, that weird thing. You know what and I mean? Because I've seen some of them, they're just like trolls. There's people who just don't care, man. I know, but I mean, that's a problem. If you're paying... Basically, a, a troll to suck your dick for money. Like, what the fuck? Do you have no imagination? I found a, a well, ranch. Never once have I been laying in bed and thought, you know what I'm going to jerk off to tonight? I'm thinking about fucking bridge trolls. <laughs> I found it's a ranch, like a bunny ranch. I guess they were in Las Vegas. And they have a thing called the sex menu. But it's just describing what the different mm-hmm. things are. I was like, this is what a blowjob is. I'm like, I know. <laughs> Read the description. Okay. <laughs> Okay, hold because on. everyone should know what that is. Well, I don't what? think it's really what it's doing. Hold on, let me see. Well, there's a thing called the half and half, which is fifty percent blowjob, fifty percent sex. Yeah. Then there's then you or you could pay for just sexual intercourse or classic sex. Classic sex. There's a you could buy a sex party. What do you think a sex party is? I'm sure it's a party of sex. It's an orgy. Yeah, it's just two girls and you. Oh, look at look at the picture. Three look at the, people. Look at the party? picture they have for blowjob. What? It's like a caveman. Right, stick figure. Right, and then there's one. Okay, well, do you think that price slides? Like, if you're, if you're, a, if if the woman considers you a handsome guy, you think she'd give you a, a cheaper price? Be like, I wouldn't mind sucking that guy's dick. I won't do it anyway. I've had worse. Cut you a break. Like, I only charge you thirty bucks. And then if some the opposite of that, some troll comes in, some bridge troll comes in, and she's like, No, you're it's eighty bucks for you, man. But I feel like if you're a super handsome dude that. That hookers are going to give discounts to. You don't really you don't need, need to, to be, be going. Right. I mean, but you could have a sexual disorder where, like, you, you crave sex so much that, you know, like, you're addicted to it to the point to where you can't have a, enough normal sex. So you have to, like, get depraved on it? You've got to get, you got to get people to, like, yeah. You got to get, you got to be, you have to only have sex with hookers that are giving you discounts? That's really specific. But. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I didn't mean that you get you get depraved on it. I just meant that like you had to have so your sheer volume of the sex that you required to be satisfied. You could you weren't get you couldn't get it by normal means, even as it's super. I mean, even if you're you were getting ridiculous amounts anyway, and then you still had to be like it's not enough. Yeah, but I mean, if you're like a John Ham looking motherfucker, mm-hmm. he's getting enough. But not if he had a yeah, he's getting enough because he doesn't have like a. a we sexual. don't know. We don't know that he doesn't have a sex crave. That's true. A sex crave, a sex crave, a deep, <laughs> deep desire. Yeah, it, well, because you say everybody has a deep, has a sex crave. Well, everyone's got a sex crave. Yeah, but to the point to where it's like a sex crave, where if it's all consuming, like what David Duchovny said he had. David Duchovny? Yeah, he was a sex addict. He was a sex addict. Well, I think you're always a sex addict. Are you? You can take the man out of the sex. But you can't take the sex out of the man, or something like that. Maybe that's something to do with mountains. Yeah, you can't make a mountain man love the prairie. Or something can't teach an old horse new how to fish. Mm. I'm not paying any attention to me, and I'm just talking bullshit. <laughs> well, I'm reading the sex menu, man. Oh, it's good. There's nothing really going on here. There's nothing really going on. <laughs> well, I like to imagine. Imagine if you just had like a really strange, just a, a strange bit of equipment. Mm. I, I don't know what I mean. I guess I mean like <laughs> shaped like a ball peen hammer. Your dick <laughs> is a ball peen hammer. <laughs> no, but like like. Uh, Say your 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 testicles are are spray painted gold. Wait, no, no, wait, no, that's not going to occur naturally. You mean you're doing that to yourself, or you want someone to do it to you? I don't want someone to do it to me. I'm saying I show up at a uh, a brothel, like a sex party. A I show up at a sex party. Yeah, a brothel. <laughs> a brothel. Are they still called brothels? I wanted to be specific. I wanted to use the correct terminology. <laughs> the old west, they were brothels. That's what I'm talking about, right? Is it a so bunny you, ranch, just a brothel? You should, yeah, well, I guess. I don't think they call them that anymore. You know what's really funny? There's no one I could ask here in Taiwan if prostitution is legal. That wouldn't be a weird question. No, we asked them last time we were here, remember? So they were saying the only the only word that's a thing was we were telling them about like, strip club stories and stuff. And they were like, oh, what? what? And <laughs> because that's not a thing here. But apparently they said the only way, the only ones that really exist, and they were still even saying like in theory, were ones operated by the Chinese mafia. Where, um... Which I don't want to ever get anything involved. I don't want. To, I've got enough going on. I don't need Chinese mafia on my plate. Like, I would like to check out a strip club. 
just for the hell of it. Why does when you add the word Chinese to the word mafia? Well, it's because they're it Chinese. doubles. It makes it worse. Yeah, because you think of mafia. I think because I don't know what the Chinese mafia gets up to. We've seen enough movies and shit about the real, mo- like the mafia in the states, to be kind of like, all right, you got an idea of maybe what they do. Still, also nothing I want on my plate. But I think it's the mystery of I don't know what the Chinese mafia does. No idea. You know what I mean? No idea. It can be crazy shit that the regular Italian mafia or whatever they never even thought of. You know, like cartel stuff, cutting people's faces off and mailing them to their uncle. <laughs> But no, you were saying that the Chinese mafia owns some. Did of you those. order something from China? <laughs> God damn, it's a new face. <laughs> oh wait, that looks like Nathan. That's <laughs> up. They left the beard on. <laughs> no, <laughs> but they said it was a uh, the karaoke places. He said before you go in and you rent the rooms, private or whatever. He said that they're basically those, but they're run by the mafia and there's they're covers for like a brothel. So you go in there and. Instead of ordering some drinks and appetizers, along with your karaoke, you, you get hookers. I feel... Is that the proper term? They're so-called hookers? I don't know, man. Everything's changed up. So it changes quick. I don't know. Brothettes? Brothettes? Brothelette? <laughs> Dick attendants? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hello, my name is Sherry, and I'll be your dick attendant tonight. Jerry? What a where <laughs> Jerry? Where did you bring me? <laughs> oh, 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 Sherry. <laughs> Hi, my name's Dave, and I'm going to be your dick attendant. <laughs> I'm your dick attendant. Would you like a hot towel? <laughs> yeah, you can have one after two. <laughs> so if, okay, I'm thinking of a situation where you and I go do karaoke. The only time that I could ever see myself paying for sex would be accidentally. Uh-huh. You know, where it just kind of miscommunicatedly happens. Yeah. And then I'm like, ah, shit. Oh, okay, wait, I paid for this already? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to go out seeking that. Right. But if I was like, if we were doing yeah. karaoke and a whole bunch of women came in, I'd be like, what is happening? Yeah. Yeah, I could see that happening. I mean, I guess it would be, it would, I feel like it would be, uh, I, I, I feel like if in that situation, first of all, it's just you and I are doing karaoke together, that seems That's like a lot. not going to happen either. Why yeah. would that, I mean, you think we'd ever just go karaoke? Two, two dudes? <laughs> go sing some songs, man. I'm feeling singy. You, you too? Well, fuck, look, here's a place. Let's hop in and get our sing on. Well, I don't understand why we wouldn't just sing. What, anywhere? Like here? Yeah, why could we just sing right here, right now? Well, we could. Dream to dream. <laughs> I wish we had a good song to bust into. I know. I, I You know where I went? Where? I went living on a prayer. Uh, well, we were halfway there. So <laughs> what I'm saying is imagine a bunch of girls come in, right? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm imagining. Well, you and I are just trying to get our sing on. Yeah. And I somehow accidentally we get involved with the Chinese mafia. Yeah. Uh-huh. And all of a sudden there's a bunch of eight women coming in. Mm-hmm. We don't want to offend the Chinese mafia. Right. Yeah, we don't want, we don't want to say... Hey, we we didn't pay for this because they might be afraid if we don't do do something. My now. Chinese is not good enough to refuse to get us out of it. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, a Chinese mafia pimp, and you got. I to almost got to... us three goose heads the other day. There's no way I can be yeah. like, no, thank you. All we wanted to do was sing tonight. Right. There's no way that's coming out. They're going to be like, oh, we can't let you go because you ordered this. You know what we do here now. If you don't take part in it, then you know what I mean. Like it's kind of thing. Like you go to a party and everybody's doing blow or something, and then you'd be like, oh, I guess I got to do something because they might shoot me. <laughs> How many parties have you been to that are like that? <laughs> Just one, but I didn't do any blow. <laughs> I managed to get out of there. <laughs> but that's the way I felt. And sure, almost, sure. I was like, Ey. I've never been any sort of, I don't even know anything about the seedy underbelly of Taiwan, man. Mm. It's all theoretical. Yeah. I mean, everywhere is so, like on the up and up, it seems. Yeah, everywhere. The guy that sold us his potatoes was a bit shifty, but I think he had maybe he'd been hit with a shovel or something. <laughs> 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 the potato business was good to him. He had a nice, bright potato business. Those were good potatoes, too. I mean, I know it sounds odd you just go up to someone and buy a potato, but you know, they were delicious. He had them in this big clay vat was nice. that they stuck to the wall, kind of like a non bread, but he was sticking potatoes to it. Yeah. And put the lid on it and cook them. Tasty. And when I bought it, he goes, very delicious, very delicious. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, he kept saying that. I was like, I believe you. I was like, we're, we're, we can't eat these for 45 minutes. You realize that they're <laughs> so hot. hot. It's hell. Maybe a that's potato. what happened to him. Oh, being around all that potato heat? We don't know the long-lasting effects of... I mean, a potato holds heat. Do you think there's any other vegetable out there other than... Two, I think, well, tomato, a tomato holds a much higher intensity of heat. Oh, yeah. So if you if you zung a, a roasted tomato at somebody, that's going to do some damage. But a potato holds the heat longer. It does. So you can carry that around until you want to zing the right person. But I guess a tomato only does it because of the high water content. Yeah. Whereas a potato's got the, like, the right amount... It's just a mushy inside. Yeah, it's got that insulated. 
So yeah, my, uh, my buddy Chach, friend of the show, he, they used to work at an Arby's years ago, and they said they would get in hot potato pi- fights, and they come home with burns all over their arms and stuff. I'm like, what kind of post-apocalyptic Arby's are you fucking working at? Just <laughs> they, would just, they would just get a yeah, hot potato as hot as they could and just start throwing at each other? They put their dicks in drinks and zinc. Who's drinks? Pot- not for, not not for not, customers. No, 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 not for customers. They would do it to some guy that worked there. There was one guy. It was one person in particular, not Chach. But one person in particular who would always put his dick into this one guy's drink that they didn't like. I think he would even pee in it sometimes. I like, you know, when you when you gave the disclaimer, not for customers, not for customers, you looked directly at the mic as if you were looking directly at our audience. <laughs> You're like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm looking at you, microphone. Don't get the wrong idea. Don't, don't you be giving out, you know. Yeah, but yeah, they would zing hot potatoes. They'd have hot potato wars. And what was this burns. guy doing? What was this guy doing that they didn't like? I guess he was just annoying. Like he doesn't. I mean, how annoying do you have to be that someone puts their dick in your drink? Probably pretty annoying. But but still, but the, the guy who did it, he was one of those guys. that was just kind of like, I hate that guy. I'm gonna put my dick in his drink, and he'd do it every day. And I think he would pee in it and stuff too, because the guy would drink it and he'd talk about how bad. But maybe we gotta change that Mountain Dew. We gotta change that Mountain Dew. It's and everybody else would be like, oh, it's fine. It's because they were peeing in his drink. What is this guy doing? How oblivious is he that people are taking his drinks and putting their dicks in it? Probably pretty oblivious. If he's that annoying, people are usually that annoying to the point you're going to put your dick in their drink and hit them with hot potatoes. Like, they're not – they're they're annoying because they don't realize it, so they're not paying attention that the reason their drink tastes weird is maybe somebody put their dick in it. Of course, that might that'd probably be down on the list on the line. I would think something would taste weird, too. I mean, immediately I wouldn't be like, someone's putting their dick in it. You ever hear about that story of that guy who was jerking off in the secretary's coffee every morning? No. I mean, it's, I mean, I pretty, the whole story is pretty much already done. Yeah. But he got caught. I guess, I guess mm-hmm. she recognized the taste. <laughs> I don't know if that's a joke or if that really happened. I was going to say, that sounds like a joke. It does sound like a joke. <laughs> well, how'd she find out that she recognized the taste? It's got to have a distinct flavor. Well, I'm sure. Uh, that's nothing I would go around telling people. I mean, I guess I think the I think the 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 <laughs> I think the law got involved. Well, I'm sure the law did get involved. The long dick of the law. <laughs> no, but if they went, if she, but imagine that's one of those things. If you're in a police, go to the police and be like, "Listen, I think somebody's been jacking off of my drink." And the All cops right, are well, like, well, let's roll. Well, wait, 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 let's let's explore this. Mm-hmm. Do you want to be the cop or do you want to be the 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 woman who discovered it? I don't care. Which one do you want to be? I'll be the cop. All right. Well, you're gonna be the cop. Okay. I'll be the oh, it's cop. cop. Ready? Ready? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. Is is this where is this where I make uh? It's a police station, ma'am. Yes. You can make it. <laughs> <laughs> we can do this. Okay. okay. We can do it. Okay, we can go. do it. Okay. 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 All right. Hold on. I'm just doing. I'm doing police work. You're doing it. Yeah. Flip those papers. All right. Uh, um. I'd like to. What is it called? I'd like to. Re- oh, I'd like to report a crime. Are you talking to me? Help, ma'am? <laughs> I'm doing police work and you just walk up and I'm talking crazy stuff. Listen, ma'am. Listen. Yes, what were you saying? Yes, you need to file a report or are you in trouble? <laughs> I got a lot of work. I got a lot of paperwork. You just, I don't know. Frank, do, 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 I don't know who she's here to see. She walked up and just started talking like she was talking to someone else. Get Sally from... Get, no, listen, <laughs> there's been a crime. Okay. <laughs> there's been a crime. It's... Okay, just calm down, ma'am. I'm a snare, goddamn it! <laughs> this, this woman was accosted by clowns, apparently. She can't stop laughing. <laughs> okay, hold on, let's reset. Let's reset. Okay, let's try okay. one more time. Third okay. tries third try the charm. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm doing my police work. Uh, excuse me, I'd like to report a crime. Oh, two, you have a manly voice. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's been jerking off in my coffee, officer. Okay, uh, okay. Mondays. That's against the law. Yeah, that is against the law. Okay, how do you? Okay, uh, who do you? Where do you work? Does that matter? Does that Enron? Did you say Enron? (laughs) (laughs) I've been jerking off at a lot of people's coffee, man. That's whole. That's not even topical. That's not even. That's not even a thing anymore. (laughs) Enron. I work for Ronald Reagan. <laughs> when he was still a cowboy. I'm his PR. Oh my god. Get <laughs> Ron. Okay. Okay. So 
where do you work? Okay, that doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter where you work. Someone, <laughs> someone's okay. You're in trouble. A crime's been committed. What was the crime? Someone, Are you okay? Were you physically assaulted? No, someone's jerked off in my coffee. Okay. How do you know? Do well. The, it's been tasting strange for a while, and last night I sucked my husband's dick, and it tasted the same way. So your husband's been jerking off in your coffee, <laughs> or do you think it's you think it's your husband, or my husband doesn't work at Enron. Ah. So a man that has the same semen flavor as your husband is jerking off into your coffee. To the labs. <laughs> to the labs. It would be weirder if... Yeah, because that's fine. Because that makes sense. I mean, yeah, that, I mean, because that, that makes sense. You, you may have tasted semen. Yeah. It would be funnier if a guy came in and was like, hey, so I've been jerking off my coffee. I could taste it. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, okay. I mean, not really. I mean... More than 50% of every mouth you've ever seen has had a dick in it. Hmm. More than 50%? Think about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. None of the mouths that are in this room. Yeah. I'll be walking around tomorrow looking at mouths. Or a bit of dick in there. <laughs> I shouldn't be walking around thinking that on the streets. People will be able to see that thought. <laughs> oh, God. There's a weird, creepy dude. What are you thinking about? You can't think that and not look weird. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You can just be- when I used to sit, sometimes I know I'd like to be in like a doctor's waiting room or something. Mm-hmm. You ever get the idea, like, maybe there's people who can read my brain around here. You ever get that thought? No. I had the thought a lot. But, so what I do is I'm like, if I have a suspect, I'm like, I think that guy can read my brain. Mm-hmm. I look at him, uh-huh. and I think about, like, elephants having crazy sex, like, as violently as I can. Uh-huh. And then see if they flinch or, like, move or anything. Uh-huh. Like, I'm just, like, you know, uh, thinking about farming video games and digging coins out of couch. Elephant sex! And then see if he flinches. Yeah. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe that's why random shit pops into our heads as we just cross over into each other's brain pans a little bit. I don't know. I used to try to get tr- cars to change lanes when I worked at the toll booth. I'd focus my beam of mental thought right at them and be like, deviate, 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 deviate. You deviate. do not need to come to this lane. Yeah. Well, if it worked or not. It worked half the time. Sure. <laughs> uh, what was the outcome of this? The, I have no idea. The, the woman they're in the doing, They're doing lab. I mean, yeah, if they would have to test it up. Well, I'm sure probably what happened after that. They set up a sting. They set up a uh, surveillance. I mean, like, listen, just don't drink your coffee. Take it. Pretend you drink it, but just don't drink it. We'll see if he's, we'll set up cameras and see if he's jerking off in your coffee. But just don't drink it. Love of God, don't drink any more coffee. <laughs> and I'm sure that's how they caught him. And then she bought, they brought the tapes in. God, I would be pissed. Coffee's got a pretty strong taste. And how you, much is he blasting and you would, in there? Yeah, and you would think that it would, you would see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you stir it up, but I mean, I mean. Like a weird spider web. Yeah, but it comes. It, I mean, it turns into a whole other monster when you get it wet and hot. Yeah. What were we talking about? I don't know. We were about plumbing, like not even two minutes ago. Now we're talking about human plumbing. No, we we're talking about not paying for blow jobs. That's how this whole thing got started. Not paying for hand jobs. You I know, stick by it. I stick with it. That I'm, I don't pay. I, I, you pay for things that you don't. You can't do yourself. I would sure. accidentally pay for a hand job, though. Yeah, I thought accident. Yeah, accidentally. Here in this country, that can happen. I don't think you could. Ah. Ac- you think you could accidentally pay for something if there's no language barrier, like yes. in America? How yes. would you not know what's going on? We accidentally paid for scallops the other day. I'm allergic to scallops. In but we don't speak the language. That's what I'm saying. I said in a, if, if oh in we America, were, yeah. America uh. Well, my friend accidentally picked up a prostitute once and didn't realize it, and he didn't pick up on the signals. Which if it, what she said was actually true, or which I, I believe it's what she, you know what I mean, but. If it was, I just don't see how you couldn't pick up on that. Sure. Someone comes up and she asks for a ride, and he gives her a ride, and then she says, "Oh, she said I'll give you like some money." And he's like, "No, no, it's fine. I'm going that way anyway." And she gets in the car. It was like a gas station, and she approached him. She gets in the car. They start driving, and she's like, "Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll pay, you, pay you or whatever." And he's like, "No, no, it's fine. Whatever. Where you need to go." And then he goes to drop her off, and she said, "She just flat out then asked him like, where you? She had him pull in somewhere. And said that that's where she was getting out, and it was just some little secluded spot. And she's like, "What do you want?" And he's like, what are you talking about? And he's like, well, what do you want? And like, asking him what he wanted what, off the menu, what he wanted. Well, wait, how do, he, then, how do you determine that? How, what? How would you not have known that there was a woman who needed a ride? I guess. You'd think there would be some kind of more signals to it than that. I guess with the whole thing. I, mean, I, don't I need talking. a ride. <laughs> yeah, right. For those at home, I'm making a blowjob motion with my lips in hand. Yeah. And the... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. Then he's like, just lets he, she gets out. He's like, no. And he's like, then she asked if he could take her back to the gas station. He's like, no. We've gone like ten miles. I'm like, no. And then she got pissed off and got out of the car because he basically drove her to the middle of nowhere. And no, she that's what she said. All right. And listen, in thirty seconds, uh, because I'm a I, the thing I'm using to record this will make a bleep saying there's only ten minutes left. Okay. 
And I don't know how to stop that from happening. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm just going to stop the recording before that happens. Okay. We got about 16 seconds. All right. Now I can either try to figure it out in 12 seconds. Try that. I'm going to try to figure it out. I'm going to try to figure it out. Oh, 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 Windows Mixer, maybe. Five seconds. Windows Mixer. Stop the thing. Dun, dun, dun.